And welcome back to Flexible Games, where we are playing Factorio in our extreme production series. Okay, so we are kind of at the point where we can make some productivity modules, but we're gonna we're gonna need quite a few of them. Uh, so I'm I've researched now up to level fours, and of course these require blues. Oh, brutal. Uh, so let's uh, copy and paste those. We're right on the edge of logistics right here. So I'm glad that we are still still within range. So the other thing that these need, uh, these are going to be provided. Uh, we need these logic boards. See these logic boards? So we need productivity, effectivity, and pollution cleaning. And I'm going to do speed as well. So very similar to the setup that we have over here, I've got the logic, the intermediate module logic boards here that kind of go into the system. Uh, and we don't need a super amount of throughput on these, but these are twice as slow to craft as the other ones. So uh, keep that in mind. So the 2.5 seconds from previously, now we're at five seconds. So here we go. Uh, we're going to start this off. So we need circuits and we need these things. So we'll just kind of take this straight across right into here. Actually, let's give ourselves a little bit more space. All right. So we have, uh, we need uh, four space in between. One, two, three, four. Okay, so there is speed, and if we want, uh, I think, I'm going to set these over here, uh, and we'll be able to sort of optimize this a little bit more. Actually, now that I think about it, it'd be better to do this down below. Just because I have yet another type of board to put up here, and I don't want to interfere with that. Uh, all right, so these are going to be the speed logic boards, five second craft on each one of those. And uh, I don't mind just two of them because uh, we're gonna we're gonna ramp that production up quite a bit. So the next one are the effectivity, or I will say efficiency. So I'm going to put the next one right next door. And these are going to be the productivity. And these bad boys are going to be, oh, we don't have a pollu oh, pollution cleaning. That's what I need. Good. Uh, all right, so the output of these are we're just going to send down And then we're going to send Each one of these across like so And then these lower ones we will offset to the close side of the belt So that way both sides are utilized uh, so the other thing these need is red and blue circuits. And that is going to be tricky. With this, I can actually bring in more circuits around the outside if I need them. But we have red circuits coming in down here, but that's a little, that's a little long for, for me. Um, I might want to bring... A new set down. I did extend the bus a little bit. We got the bus extended down out to here, but oh yeah, that's that's going to be a lot of blues. Now we're we are going to be able to build up with with the modules that we're going to be getting. We're going to be getting some productivity modules, and right now our reds are kind of hurting. I did add another set of reds down here. So we've got how many of these now? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We have eight sets of reds, and we're still not 
keeping up with how many we really, really need. And iron looks like it completely died. Uh, I think I'm going to really go crazy with iron coming up here shortly. I'm going to add a bunch of production. Uh, so I'm going to do that in a second. First, let's get the circuitry that we need. Um, I want to reserve this spot for the eventual next level of board. So we need that. Uh, and then we'll have that coming down like that. And so this area right in here, we have available for circuitry. So we have this huge area up here that we're not using right now. And, uh, you know, we'll find, we'll find a use for it. So I need reds and blues to come down here. And what is on this line that's not coming at all? Is that plastic? No, it's not plastic. Oh, it's... I forgot to combine this. I added these... It's tin. I added these chests in here just in case I need to do some logistics. Uh, but yeah, I forgot to connect that up. So let's get that going again. That's not good. Not a good thing that we cleared out. A tin is used pretty extensively in this system. So I want to make sure we have that all ready to go. And let's make sure we have these all ready to go as well and we have aluminum down here not 100% sure we're gonna need this anywhere else on the bus same with plastic I'm not sure if we're gonna need more plastic batteries uh, you know I'm gonna I'm gonna keep batteries reserved just in case and I forgot what the other kind of skip along here. So we don't have any other ore in here. I might bring titanium. I think that would be a good ore to, to put on the bus because we're going to use a ton of it. We're going to use a ton of it for machines and such. So let's keep that one occupied. So now let's reserve these out here so there is blue right there and then red right there and then red make sure that's right it is unfortunately just make sure those are those are the same distance. And let's bring those down. And granted, we really don't have the red production to compensate for that. But one of the things we are going to be able to do is use these new circuit boards for making production modules. Now, I don't, I have it set so we can't use production modules in beacons. So the only place I can put them is in the machines themselves. And uh, we are going to, we're going to use that system. Okay, I need so one goes here, one goes there. So we're going to need reds to jog out, and then blues can come right in. Okay, now let's bring in, wow, these plastic bar, what, why are you, are any of these other ones missing? Okay, well, I'm glad I caught that. We had one one assembler not even not even running. So let's bring down the glory of the logistics or the logic boards, and uh, let's set set these up here. So 
So, these are going to come down. And I think we're just going to load them into chests. Oh, of course, I'm, I always misplace the last one when I try to do stuff like that. Okay, obviously these aren't in a logistics range right now, but uh, we will remedy that shortly. Uh, so the next thing is, let's get these, let's get these offset here. Okay, these are ready to go, and uh, let's power them up. So we have one there, one there. Okay. So obviously we could also use productivity modules in these things here. Now we've got the logic boards on their way. Uh, all right, so we're gonna copy and paste this. I want logic boards, module contacts, and raw productivity, no. So we already have all the logic boards ready to go here. And I'd like to get, I'd like to get uh, the, these are 20% productivity, which is nice. Uh, I would really like the 25% because these have four in them and a 25 pro productivity would give me exactly 100% uh, bonus in all of these. And so now that we've actually got blues coming down, I don't know if I need blues in here. Uh, so let's continue trying to get some more productivity and obviously these researchers are becoming more and more difficult uh, all right uh, let's get oh I almost could put it right there I'm gonna shift click that let a bot let a bot place it and then they should take from here. I mean, five seconds. We got two of them, so it's, you know, two every five seconds, one every two and a half seconds. Not too bad. Not super fast, but again, we're, we're not going for super speed here. Because these productivity modules, these raw ones that I'm bringing in, these are going to go a long ways in boosting up a little bit of production. Like right now, reds are hurting. You can see already we are rapidly running out of reds. And so here come the bots. And let's set up. I'm going to set up a little chest here. Um, we're going to set these up craft granted they're slow as molasses like these 60 seconds for these that's painful that is really painful there we go now we are a minute in so yeah, an hour in, you're only gonna get 60 of these. Well, I'm thinking that the first few productivity modules we're gonna we're gonna use in this setup here, especially these last two uh, because they're so slow. So we have 15 seconds, 30 seconds, 45, and then 60. And who knows what the next one is? Uh, I'm guessing, yeah, 75 seconds. That is. That's painful. And uh, the next one, which is 25%, gives us, uh, we're gonna need rubies for. So we're gonna need to work on this gem system. And I've already got a blueprint ready to go. Um, so I'm going to, 
I've already saved a lot of these blueprints and in the blueprint book right here I've got a bunch in here so I'm gonna take this gem blueprint and I should now have the gem blueprint so you can see I'm not sure what uh, where's the gems there it is so these require the green you can see they require the green assembly machines. Well, we don't have the green assembly machines. Uh, we don't even have these assembly machines auto-crafted yet. Um, if we look, see, we don't have any assembly machines auto-crafted. So we need, to, we need to remedy that and maybe even research the next level of assembly machine. Uh, that would give us a little bit of a boost. Uh, let's see what the requirements are for those. Automation 4. See, we need brass. We have the aluminum, but we are going to need some brass. And brass is copper and zinc. And we don't have, we're not processing zinc yet. We've, we've definitely got the mine ready to go. We've got even got the train ready to go, but we're not processing it yet. Uh, I'm thinking we've got, we only got tin and gold. Uh, the next one is going to be nickel. So let's set this one up. Uh, and then we're going to do titanium. Uh, and then we can do... Then we can do zinc. So I think I have that somewhere. There it is. And I do have this one saved as well. So titanium, we're actually going to need a lot of titanium. So I'm thinking we're going to want we're going to want a couple. I'm going to put one up here. So that's going to be a secondary titanium processor, and we're going to give ourselves a little bit of space. And then this one is going to go here, and this will be zinc. And gold, nickel, we got cobalt, don't need those. Uh, there's titanium. Tungsten, oh, tungsten is, a, tungsten is a bad one. That's a tough one. Uh, here is going to be, let's do quartz up here. Because tungsten is a nightmare. That's a tough one. It takes up a lot of space. So I'm gonna put I'm gonna plan for this one to be like right in here. Uh, let's put this here. I want to make sure there's a There's a signal in between all of these. So you don't see a signal in between here. So we're going to want one in here. Okay, so let's clear out the trees out of here and the trees out of here and we'll clear out more trees as as we go but I'd like I like the trees to be cleared out that will help us help us see better as those get built Okay, so we have nickel, then titanium, and then this one up here is also going to be a titanium. Uh, and this one up here is going to be quartz. Because quartz can actually, the silicon can actually be converted into a couple different materials. Uh, okay, so this one, titanium, this one's going to be zinc.
and uh, this one isn't placed yet, so I've got to gotta wait for those bots to charge up. Unfortunately, we don't have the nuclear bots yet. Would be nice. Would be so nice. Uh, do we... I could research Culverex Enrichment. These are actually disabled because they're completely full. Okay, so now that that is done, we're going to actually research. We're going to research Culverex Enrichment. And then we're going to research Nuclear Robotics. I think it's time. Now that we've got high-tech science, I think it's time. So let's get that, let's get that started. And we've, we've got seven raw productivity modules. Oh, it's so, it's so glorious. I'm going to actually take one and put it in here. And the raw productivity are nice because they give us the raw, the productivity without the drain on speed, crafting speed. You can see we're 80% productivity. 80% productive and our reds completely decimated so we're gonna need quite a few productivity modules in order to go over to red and boost that up a little bit because I'd like to give it a temporary boost while we get things sorted out and also we're gonna want to work on we're gonna work on a little bit of iron here this is getting a little ridiculous. Uh, can I fit one over here? I could. I want to cover. I want to cover as much of this with construction as I can. So that goes out to there. That goes out to there. Okay, that that will cover everything with construction. And uh, we want to clear these trees as well. Okay, can I rename? Yep. This was Tungsten. Okay, and this one was Quartz. There we go. And let's throw in some power on these. Okay. All right. I think we've got all all of them covered now. And uh, we need to think about how we're going to route this around. I kind of want to wait till nuclear bots to get to get that wrapped around. Ooh, look at that, we've got five. I think we're I think we're doing pretty good on on these, except for reds. Reds are really hurting us right now. Hopefully we'll get a little bit extra. So in between episodes, I'll let this craft a little bit. Maybe throw in a few of my own blues. Although I don't. Oh, I don't. I have a few reds. Not many. I'm cutting it a little close with the reds. We're gonna need. We're gonna need quite a quite a lot of reds. So yeah, six. Only six. That's enough for one. Just one assembler for reds. I mean, we're making them pretty fast, but not even close to how fast we're going to be. Because I'm going to put productivity modules, and I'm going to put beacons in here, and those are going to be speed modules. So it's going to be really, really, really fast. I want enough for at least two... Two assemblers, which is an even eight. One, oh, a little bit, oh, a little bit more. There we go. So now 
The first two on the block are going to get productivity. And that should help with throughput. Because they, I mean, these craft pretty fast. You know, productivity really makes a huge difference depending on the crafting speed. So the faster things craft, the, the you know, the productivity kicks into gear a lot faster. So if I wander over all the way over to here, it's a long, long trip. So you can see the productivity really comes into play with these faster crafts. Which is why I didn't want I didn't want God modules and I didn't want beacons to transmit. Because then you can I mean if you use beacons you can get your productivity up to like five thousand percent and that's and that's that's high production. That's extreme production, but it's not extreme consumption of materials, of raw materials, and that's what we're going for here. I want to be able to really grind through a lot of materials. I'm probably going to need to work on upgrading all of these to Blue Belt as well. Would be wise. So a little bit to, a little bit of work to do in between episodes, and uh, so that'll do it for this one. And I thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.